Aloha, my friends, and welcome back to Maui Craft Kitchen. Spring has sprung. People are getting outside a little bit more and finally coming out of hibernation. Whether you're hiking, swimming, or playing with the kids, you're going to need some quick, sustainable energy to keep your body running. Granola is the perfect solution. It's easy to make, easy to store, and even easier to eat. So get your active wear ready, because we're gonna work some of that Maui magic and get right down to it. I'm going to give you two granola recipes today. Both are in the description below. We will start with the brown sugared version. In a small sauce pot, mix the water, caster sugar, and brown sugar. Turn the heat on high, bring it to a boil, and let it go for one to two minutes. Pull it off of the heat, and mix in the vanilla extract and oil. In the event that you add too much oil, simply skim some off until you reach the correct weight. If your nuts are larger pieces, go ahead and give them a quick chop now. Mix all of the dry ingredients, except any dried fruits you plan on using. We will add those at the end so they don't burn in the oven. There's nothing like fresh grated nutmeg. I recommend using it whenever possible. Now mix the dry ingredients for the other flavor as well. Mix the oil, maple syrup, and lemon zest together in a small bowl. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit with the racks in the middle and lower. Pour the maple syrup mixture right over the oats and mix well. Do the same thing with the other oat mix and sugar syrup we made earlier. Line a baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper and pour the granola right down the middle. Press the mixture down, compacting it together and spreading it out to roughly a quarter of an inch thick. The more compact and together it is now, the more it will bake in one sheet, leading to larger clusters of granola when it cools. Repeat the same process with the other granola mix. Bake the granola for 20 to 30 minutes or until the edges are golden brown. Rotate the pans every eight minutes or so to ensure even baking. Pull them from the oven and let them cool down completely before the next step. This should take about half an hour or so. Scatter your dried fruit over the granola, grab the parchment paper, and lift it to break it up into smaller pieces. Serve up your homemade granola and enjoy! What an easy and fun process granola is, right? The possibilities and combinations are just about endless. So get in your kitchen, start experimenting with flavors that you like, keep cooking, and keep having fun. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that subscribe button and click the bell. Thank you so much for watching. Many mahalos and much aloha.